hey guys welcome to my channel welcome to my life welcome to another video if you are new here hey what's up i see you and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to my channel coming back to my life okay so we are currently eight months into this sister lock journey y'all yes let's give a hand clap for that i am currently eight months and i am definitely loving every single second i know a lot of people say that in the videos but it's real i love every single moment i'm loving every single moment and i'm so happy that i made it to eight months with no issues so before i get into my eight month sister lock update I just want to answer some common questions and just let y'all know that this is the second time me trying to film this video. I actually filmed the video same day, real time, actually a few hours ago, went to edit the video, edited the video. Now, if you do YouTube, you already know, like that's a whole process that takes a really long time. So if I look tired, that's because I filmed the video, edited the video, lost the footage, almost cried, and now I'm here again recording this video for y'all so with that being said i hope y'all love and appreciate me because if you do youtube it's already a process in itself so now i'm here again re-recording so prayer hands in the comments that this is going to turn out bomb and we could just move on with our lives okay so commonly asked questions, questions that I keep getting on all my videos and on Instagram and everywhere else is was my hair permed and relaxed prior to me getting my sister locks? And the answer to that question is no, my hair was not permed or relaxed. However, I did dye my hair before I got my sister locks installed. I believe it was like either a few weeks or a few months before I dyed my hair. Dyeing your hair definitely do change the texture of your hair a little bit because it's chemicals in the dye. So that could be a reason why my ends were straight. I don't know. I don't really feel like going into this big thing about why my ends are straight because I don't know. It is just the texture of my hair. Is my ends relaxed or permed? And the answer to that question, and like I said, is no. So if y'all see me looking down, I don't know what's wrong with my voice. If y'all see me looking down, I'm actually looking at the notes that I wrote. Good thing I have notes because I would have been out of luck, okay? I would have been out of luck. So, the first thing that I have noticed about my locks is I do believe, and I'm not an expert. I am sharing my journey with you guys, but I do believe right now at the eight-month eight mark that my hair is definitely starting to go more serious we it's serious okay i know we was in a i know we was going to be in a committed relationship when i got my locks but now i feel like my locks are definitely committed like they're not going anywhere they're not playing they are here to stay okay they're not playing no games so my hair is definitely starting to look like locks as y'all can see i don't know if y'all can see it but my hair is definitely starting to look like locks. I noticed that my hair does not look like anybody else's. My hair look very unique. I have seen so many videos here on YouTube. I have seen so many clips on Instagram. I follow people on Instagram. I've seen people online. I've seen people on TikTok. And I am so proud to say my hair does not look like anybody else's. My hair definitely does look unique to me. A lot of people say that I have a lot of volume. I do do braid outs and bantu knot outs. As y'all seen in previous videos, that definitely does help with volume as all of you or many of you already may know. So that is that, but my hair is already really thick. So me doing a bantu knot and a braid out or whatever I do to my hair, it just adds more volume to volume that I already have. So that is that what else budding i do not have budding i know someone's going to come for me and ask me in the comments so i have budding no i don't have any budding still however i do have budding in the back of my hair <clears throat> what is going on with my throat i don't know but i do have budding in the back of my hair still 
the budding back there has gotten more hard. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but it's definitely starting to harden up. Also, shrinkage. The shrinkage has felt, the shrinkage feel like it completely just went away. I have no more shrinkage as of this month. Currently, I don't know why but i'm really thankful for it and i'm not going to question it i'm starting to get my length i'm starting to see the length of my locks at this point in time as y'all can see the length i mean it is shrunk right now because this is an old bantu nut out from weeks ago and my hair is still like that way from the Bantu not out. So definitely you see some shrinkage because of that. But other than that, I don't have any more shrinkage. What else? Lots of itching. Lots of itching, y'all. Especially in the middle. I don't know why. It itches right after my retightening. But it's been itching all this month. And it's starting to get irritating. I have not washed my hair in five weeks. So that could be the reason why. I do plan on washing my hair this week. Which I might do a video on that let me know if y'all want to see a video on that I don't want to keep making the same type of videos but I don't know I like to share my journey so I might make a video on my hair washing as well um what else I have build up in the front which I'm going to show you guys my hair does get a little wet in the back when I take a shower I don't know why I'm sharing it but I just feel like sharing it it does not do anything to my hair, probably because I do not wet my hair ever. So my locks probably really be loving it, that it gets a little bit wet. I don't have a shower cap, so that's why. It does not get drenched in water. It just gets a little bit moist because of the steam in the shower. Um, and my locks have not unraveled because of that, so I have not been really stressing about it. But I just thought I should share that just in case it happens to somebody else. Um, What else? Oh, I have some frayed locks that I want to show you guys that I don't like. I hope that um, this issue kind of resolves later on when my locks mature. But y'all see how, like, they look kind of frayed. That's not really that good of an example. Let me try to find another one. So y'all see my locks how, and it's just the ones in the middle. Y'all see how they kind of look, they kind of look frayed. Like the hairs are like sticking out of the locks on the sides. I don't really like that look. I don't like that at all. I hope hopefully that will go away. And I'm curious to see how my hair is gonna be looking over the summertime, y'all. I really believe my hair is gonna be super long. Um, here we go with the word super again. <laughs> But I do believe that my hair is gonna be really long come summertime. I'm excited to see how it's gonna look. Because right now, to me, is is looking really pretty. And by summertime, that's a few, what, five, four months away. So my hair is probably going to be looking really long and big. I don't know. We'll see. But I think I covered everything. Let me check my notes. So that is about it. I'm about to do a 360 and show you guys how my locks are looking. Hopefully it's going to turn out good because I'm in a chair and my chair doesn't swivel. But I want to say real quick that I hope that you guys are speaking up to your locticians about any issues that you may or may not be having with your sister locks. We invest a lot of money in our hair. I know I did. I started out with 10 inches of hair. So my locks were expensive. My reties are expensive. And the longer I go between reties, my, my um, reties are expensive the longer I wait, if that makes sense. So I feel like we can watch as many YouTube videos as we want here on YouTube. We can ask as many questions as we want here on YouTube to other people who are on their journeys but it all boils down to that's what the locticians are here for that's what we pay them for we pay our hard earned money on our hair so i feel like i hope that 
you know, y'all are doing your part with talking to your opticians about any problems and questions that you may have because at the end of the day, that is their job. That's what we pay them for. And yeah, so make sure that you are speaking up if you have, which I'm sure many of you already are, but I just feel like somebody might need to hear that. If you have sister locks or if you are thinking about getting sister locks, it is really important, I feel like, to have a good relationship with your loctician and talk to your loctician and bond with your loctician because they are the ones that is maintaining your locks. I know for me, I don't maintain my locks at all. I don't plan on maintaining my locks in the future. And I don't know what the future holds. I don't know if I'm going to switch locticians or I'm going to keep the same locticians. I'm going to move. I don't know. But I know that it's very important to have a good relationship with your loctician or locticians. Because I know people have several locticians. Me personally, personally, I have one. And I feel like I have an okay relationship with my loctician. Yeah, I want to say that because, like I said, it is extremely important. And... Yes, so I don't want to hold y'all up too much. I'm about to give y'all a 360 and show y'all my hair. And yes, I'm really mad that the footage was lost, but that's all right. So anyways, all right, so this is the front of my hair. Y'all see the flakes, but this is the side. I do have some locks that are trying to marry because, like I said, y'all already know, I need a retightening. So some of the locks are trying to marry together, but I just, you know, I just separate them a little bit. As y'all can see, my grid has completely disappeared. Like, I have no grid at this point. And I'm not sweating it because um, this look doesn't really bother me. I know a lot of people, they like the whole freshly retightening look. Me, it don't really matter to me. I love my hair, whether it's freshly retightened or whether I see the grid or not. It doesn't really matter to me. But let me turn around. Hopefully, I can see. Alright you guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope that you enjoy or enjoy this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos from me. Turn on your post notifications. Leave whatever comments you down. <laughs> Leave whatever comments down below in the comment section. And I will hopefully see you in my next video. So until next time, bye. Mm -hmm.